hello guys today we will be learn about a linear regression using orange software so first of all we will input our data set from file just double click in it and you can input your data set from here i just input it here so now you need to select your independent variable and dependent variable here you can see that i have global entrepreneurship index data economic freedom index data global competitive index data and easy of doing business data so i want to test the influence of economic freedom index global competitive index and easy of doing business on global entrepreneurship this is my cea cei my dependent variable and these three variables are independent variables so first i uh, hit the serial number because we don't need it and i uh, just convert it meta as uh, the country okay now we will see our data set using data table just click on the data table you can see that this is our country and all the variables data is there now you can see that we have some missing values can see that this is so we will first treat our missing values using just click on uh, impute right here impute and you can see that impute is there so there are different types of methods to manipulate the missing values or to treat the missing values so first of all we can remove the missing values from our data set just see here first of all i just remove our missing values from the data set just click on the remove instances with unknown values and you can see that i have 137 countries data sorry 123 and you can see that here 137 countries data was there but uh, after removing the missing values 123 countries data are only available so if we uh, should want to exclude our countries data so uh, we will manipulate this from model based imputer by uh, using just a simple tree method now you can see that we have 137 countries data and you can see that uh, the missing values are computed with the help of this method now after that uh, we will see the distribution of the data to select uh, whether our data is uh, going for parametric test or non parametric test so we will check the normality test using distribution just type distribution and you can see that our distribution is ready so first of all when you uh, come here the data set will be uh, visualized like this just change a uh, fitted distribution to normal and you can see that the normal distribution is here you can also show the cumulative distribution also now you can see that the alpha value is uh, greater than 0 0.05 so we can say that uh, our data is normally distributed in this case you can uh, see every 
uh, variable just click on the variables and you can see the distribution of the variables okay in this way you can visualize your uh, data visualization uh, sorry data distribution okay after that we will uh, see the outlier present or not using outlier just click on outlier and see uh, just add a data table you can uh, just change the outlier we only check the outlier here you can see that we have 11 countries data which has which contains the outlier so we will uh, remove the outlier for removing the outlier we need to use on on get name okay so just type on and you will see that the concatenate is here now we will only input the in layer we will exclude the outliers okay now click on ok and see the data table so 137 countries data is there and uh, 11 countries data contains some outliers so we will exclude it and you can see that 126 countries data is here without outlier so we will go for this one for regression analysis now we will uh, also box plot of this one uh, you can just type box plot or uh, now you can see that uh, the box plot is here to uh, where you can see uh, the mean and hd values just click on the variables here and you can see uh, the uh, box plot your uh, ready box plot is here it is quite uh, simple now uh, we will see uh, the distribution of the uh, data like uh, mean median we will see the distribution now here distribution is uh, like uh, is in the feature statistic uh, click on the feature statistic and you will be able uh, to see the features of the data set or characteristics of the uh, data now you can see that uh, efi has a distribution mean value median dispersion minimum maximum and missing value is uh, there so according to this uh, you can uh, create your uh, characteristics table of the data set so after that we will also uh, see the scatter plot of the uh, variables uh, just type scatter and you can see the scatter plot is here the in this case we have a global entrepreneurship index uh, as a dependent variable so we will put it uh, as dependent variable and you can see the economic freedom index and GEI uh, has a positive uh, relationship is there and you just you can uh, change uh, the variables from here okay you can also change uh, the variable color like this and you also can uh, change the shape also if you have uh, any ca uh, categorical scale value okay so in this way you can visualize your uh, data set, uh, relationship among uh, independent and dependent variables using scatter plot uh, the plot is uh, quite effective now we will build a linear regression 
linear regression just click on the linear regression from here you can see that here uh, four types of uh, regression uh, was there uh, this uh, no regularization means uh, simple linear regression uh, or multiple linear regression and you can also see the ridge regression lasso regression and elastic net regression uh, actually uh, these three regressions are uh, basically used in machine learning technique so uh, from here you can uh, easily calculate uh, the different types of uh, regression just uh, click on this one and uh, the regression will be calculated now i will see that our regression just use a uh, data table uh, you can see that this is our intercept or constant value and this is our uh, variables and coefficient values is there now we can see that economic freedom index and uh, easy of doing business is uh, significantly uh, influences a uh, global entrepreneurship index or a uh, global entrepreneurship uh, ecosystem health of the um, but uh, simply it can be said that uh, easy of doing business and economic freedom has a significant influence on the improvement of global entrepreneurship ecosystem in the world so now we will uh, view our r square value uh, using uh, test and score now uh, you need to input uh, data set so here uh, you can see that our r square value is 0 0.74 it means that the model is explainable up to 74 percent or the independent variables can explain up to 74 percent dependent variables okay thank you guys